How's it going everyone? My name is Shrezzy and welcome back to another video. Welcome back to some more X Defiant. Today we're going to be doing my absolute favorite thing in this game, which is sniping. So if you guys are new to the channel at all, I literally love to snipe. I've been sniping like in every single shooter you could possibly think of for so long now. It started like way back in the day with like Modern Warfare like remastered. I say remastered because I didn't really get into Call of Duty until probably like Modern Warfare like 2, but I was kind of like using just like regular ARs and stuff. But when remastered came out and came back with Infinite Warfare, that's when I kind of really started to do sniping and experiment with that side of the guns and to this day that's all i really like to do man as you see these are like all my main weapons i use in x defiant at the moment i have this cracked ak class that uh, i got the attachments from zai and uh his his class is ridiculous this ak just shreds but ak is like a beast anyway in this game we also got the battle pass completed so we actually got this like last tier ak skin which is absolutely fire i grind it my life away got this tac 50 to we got the prisma unlocked on it so this is like the only gun that actually have prisma on right now and that prisma camo is just so beautiful bro i honestly really did want to try to go for this pyro classic camo but i don't know bro because black ops 6 is on the way and i don't know if i'm gonna really have a chance to finish it as you see one out of 23 do you know how long and the dedication it's gonna take it's gonna be like a passive thing like if i get this it'll happen down the road i'd say in the next couple months i don't know we'll have to see but i definitely have been attracting more to the l115 uh, i've been having people tell me that this is honestly the better sniper rifle out of the two the tac 50 and the l115 and i've been using it i've been going crazy with it bro i ain't gonna lie i've been having a really good time there is a couple changes i need to make like i know i had the lightweight barrel is, is crazy that needs to be on there yeah i mean i guess we'll probably just hop into some occupy and see what we can do but yeah um thanks for all the love and support on the channel recently it's been absolutely amazing i really appreciate everybody's love and support like i say it every video but it's honestly been so awesome and i just i'm so grateful for it man i'm so grateful oh we're already getting cooked in this lobby so we'll see how this goes i also got paddles back i can't really lift up my controller to show you guys but i essentially bought a new ps5 pro controller because I, the last one i had my dog chewed up so that's not good at all honestly i've been feeling like a different person since i put these paddles back on no way there's a mine on the ground Wait, i can look he can help this team come back though a hit marker Oh, bro, how do we trade like that? No, another trade? Bro, can they please fix that, bro? For the love of God. There's no way I should be getting seven trades a game, bro. Like, it makes literally no sense at all. Also been noticing, too, dude, like, it seems like a lot of controversy has been building up. I mean, controversy's already been there, like, when it comes to Call of Duty and X Defiant, but it seems like a little bit more now that Black Ops 6 is approaching. I think now we're, like, 24, 23, 24 days away from Black Ops 6's release, its official launch. So I feel like things are, like, a little weird right now. I don't know. I'll definitely say I feel like X Defiant Season 2 did fall short a little bit of people's expectations it definitely brought people back like i mean hello i'm here i i literally said i was literally about to delete the game and then i seen that they're having new content new season and i you know i came back i'm not gonna try to sit here and act like i was holding x defiance hand for like the last year the betas the alphas all that because i'd be lying because it's not true i mean i literally took a huge break i was like a lot of the other people who got bored i was not here through like the lows like when the player count started to drop you know after release and all that i, I was not i was not here bro but i mean literally i've seen something like you literally like ubisoft like CEO themselves said that like the season fell short of their expectations or X Defiant like this new chapter has fell short of their expectations but I also have question marks because it's just like why didn't they release everything we're supposed to get with season two off the rip like why didn't we get like the customs and all that off the rip why didn't we get all the new maps off the rip like I feel like this game is already kind of lacking content so like why are we like being patient with releasing the content like bro just throw the content out there bro give people what they want I'm not trying to bash X Defiant I'm just trying trying to say and, and state my frustrations but i feel like a lot of other people even those big x defiant content creators and fans might share some of the same frustrations see the issue here is that i'm put in a very precarious position bro i'm in this really weird spot the thing is i love call of duty i genuinely love call of duty i'm a call of duty fanboy i'm not gonna lie i'm really looking forward to black ops 6 but it's like i it feels like almost i can't say that because then you get judged it's like oh you still support call of duty and all the devs and yada 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 skill-based matchmaking and you know the crying that goes 
goes with that. Skill-based matchmaking does not bother me. That's not why I'm playing X Defiant. I'm not playing X Defiant because there's no skill-based matchmaking. I do not care. It does not bother me. But again, I get put in this position, I feel like, to where it's like I have to either defend myself on both fronts. Or if I want to say I like X Defiant, I'm enjoying X Defiant, then I get people judging me for liking X Defiant. Like, why would you like that game? You know, they don't have, you know, a big player base, and that game's gonna die once Black Ops 6 comes out. Like, dude, I already said it. I feel like this game can coexist with the Call of Duty. I feel like they're different enough. Like, you know what I mean? Like, why do we have to keep having the game conversation over and over again, bro? They are different games at the end of the day. It just, it, it really sucks, dude, because I just, I want gaming to be positive and for everybody to enjoy games together and things of that nature but it's just like it's hard it really is because there's so many opinions and judgment going around everywhere bro and honestly sometimes it gets overwhelming especially as a content creator because you receive backlash depending on what you upload or support like it shouldn't be a crime to say that i'm gonna go play the new call of duty you know and if it's bad it's bad that's fine and then we'll just stop playing it like people do every single year i mean did you just spend 70 dollars and then now you don't play the game anymore i mean technically but i mean it, you know it is what it is i mean we do that all the time with all sorts of different types of games so i mean what does it matter with black ops 6 but yeah i know i'm ranting and i'm supposed to be focused and locked in sniping but i just had to get that off my chest i'll be honest i literally made a video the other day talking and it was going to be titled x defiant has some issues and it was me talking about all the problems i feel like the game has but honestly bro i didn't upload it i started to edit it and i literally just was like no i'm not gonna upload this this. just because i felt like i was being balanced like i wasn't trying to bash x defiant but i feel like i was talking about genuine problems i was saving myself the sanity because i felt like when i upload that the amount of comments and other stuff i was gonna get in regards to people's opinions you know saying oh there isn't actually anything wrong or just saying what i'm saying is wrong or just people just completely fanboying over x defiant which is fine respect your game love your game you know you can stand on business for your game but it's just like you have to understand dude i am a content creator and all i'm trying to do is share my thoughts and opinions at the end of the day but here we are sniping so let's lock in bro <laughs> Allies on the oh my god shut that i gotta do the wall i'm so sorry that makes zero sense Did I just get teabagged, bro? I looked out on my phone, I got a notification, and I just looked back up to my face getting thrusted on, bro. What? Who's next? Who's next? No way, bro. Stop hard scoping. I actually seen like a post on Twitter. I'm not sure how accurate it is, but I'd seen that there was like a whole bunch of new game modes coming to this game. To honestly be really good for it. Really healthy. One of them was actually like a snipers only mode, bro. I think that would be so fun, bro. They, they have that in Call of Duty a lot of the time, but like, bro, snipers only mode sounds heat. There's a lot though. There was like a, a free for all mode, bro. There was like, there was like an infection mode. Oh, oh, turn me up. Turn me up. Bro, no way I got caught with those crossfire bullets, bro. Honestly, we just saw, I think we dropped like at least like 50 with the sniper. I mean, that's, bro, that's valid in my book, bro. I was kind of ranting for the first half of that game too. So, I mean, it is what it is. 51 and 31. I mean, it definitely could be better, but I'm not mad at the performance for sure. All right, guys, I'm going to end it off there. Hope you guys did enjoy and let me know if you guys want to see some more X Defiant content. I know for sure that at some time this week, we're definitely going to be going back to the finals because I had a really good time playing that game and I'm honestly, I've been excited to go back and play it some more. So I'll definitely be recording that. So expect that this week. But besides that, probably some more X Defiant content. I definitely want to go back to MW3 at least once or twice more before Black Ops 6 comes out. But anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy. I love you guys so much. Subscribe. If you guys are new, it's been Trezzy, it's been real. Peace out.